Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about accuracy when you're shooting a handgun. And it depends on a lot of different things all coming together at the same time, not the least of which is your breathing. You want to make sure you breathe regularly, keep enough oxygen in your system so when you're ready to pull that trigger, you can hold your breath just enough to get that shot off. Basically, just like building anything, accuracy starts with a good foundation. So you need to start with your footwork. A couple of different ways. The, the best way I've found for two-handed shooting is you're going to have your support side, in my case, my left side because I'm right-handed, and you're going to have your shooting side, which is my right side because I'm right-handed. Your support foot wants to be forward, pointed at the target. Your knee needs to be bent a little bit so that your weight is on your front foot more than the back foot. Your back foot ends up being at about a 45 degree angle to the direct line to the target. Both knees are bent and you're leaning forward at the waist which is putting your weight pretty much directly on your support leg. So as we go from the foundation up to the top, the top of your body needs to be stable and balanced over the center line of your body. That's why your support foot, non-shooting foot is forward, your shooting foot is back, and you're leaning into it. Then you're going to take the firearm in your hand and as we open it up and check it to make sure it's empty for practice, a good and proper grip starts with the direct line right here which is an extension of your forearm directly locked into the center line of the grip. Your hand goes around, your finger will be along the flat. Myself, I use three fingers to lock my shooting hand in. I find it's good for me to put my pointer finger on the front trigger guard. It's not absolutely necessary. Some people are more comfortable with all four fingers wrapped around. What you're doing is you're locking your shooting hand in position, making it very firm. Your thumb goes on top of your thumb. So your support thumb and support hand wraps around your shooting hand. You're leaning forward, not back like I used to do when I was a little kid because the gun was too heavy. Lean forward into it. You want to make what we call an isosceles triangle. Just like this. Two arms of equal length, one shorter. Put your shooting arm straight from the shoulder out. Bend your support arm down like you see here. And then use a little bit of isometric tension. You've got some isometric tension pushing out from your shoulder, pulling back. Basically, you're almost making your arm into a rifle stock. <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. You want to align your sights properly. We haven't talked about aligned sights. Your sights are aligned, even, centered on the target. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Blow it out. Your sights are aligned on the target. I find it's best to keep both eyes open. Take a half a breath, half breath in, hold it, and squeeze smoothly through. The most important thing for accurate shooting is making that gun surprise you when it goes off. You keep your sights aligned, centered on the target, and when it goes bang, it surprises you. If you want to be a little more accurate with a revolver, Cock the hammer back. It makes much shorter, much lighter, much easier trigger pull. Again, breathe, lean into it. Bang. 